Welcome to Suncoast View. I'm Stephanie Roberts. A holiday shopping spectacular from a new Amazon concept to great gift ideas plus people who need gifts from you. I'm Candace Magalia, development trends expert, and the battle over what to do with Bayfront land continues. We have an update. I'm Bo Beth. Tis the season to keep your Christmas tree fresh and festive for the next few weeks, and we have a plant expert here to help us. And I'm Linda Carson. The sounds of the season have a jazzy feel today with State College of Florida. All that and more right now on Suncoast View. Welcome to the show and welcome back to Candace McCallia. Oh, Great yeah. to have you with Thank us. You. Thanks, ladies. I'm so happy to be back. Lovely I love velvet the, jacket. Is that velvet? Thank you. It's velvet. With jeans. Yes. With jeans. I it's love this. It's December, so it we is. can do velvet and jeans, right? And I love that the velvet is coming back. Me it's too. It's like the newest style. Now I can go up to people and just touch yes. them. Yes. You want to feel it? <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> It's What's very going festive. On here? <laughs> it is very festive, and we're actually going to get some temperatures to match, I hear, as the week goes on, which will be nice, because I don't know about you, but I do not feel festive when it is 80 and humid, and right. that has been the yeah. trend lately. So we're glad that rain is bringing some changes to us as we go throughout the day. We certainly don't want to change our kitchen plans for today, because I'm very excited about them. We want to welcome back Chef Bob Overholzer from Gold Rush Barbecue. What are we making today? Well, today Jezebel is coming to town. We're going to make a fun sauce. She's versatile, she's hot, she's spicy, she loves to go to parties. If she can be a great gift idea, she's and, uh, you're going to love it. <laughs> yeah, and her name's not Linda Carson, her name is Jezebel. Gold so digger Jezebel. All right. Wow, Bob was trying to explain to me the concept of Jezebel sauce, and I only sort of caught on. Have you ladies heard of that? No. no. I've heard of well, Jezebel. Well, I know what Jezebel is. Yeah, I know okay. what a Jezebel is. Well, so it must so be spicy. Sauce with wild those and sexy. Yeah, we're going to yeah, make a yeah. wild and sexy sauce in the kitchen. <laughs> Get ready for that. All right, well, since it is the holiday season, I want to remind everybody about a very important project that we are big supporters of here at ABC7. This is the Salvation Army Angel Tree Project. And we want everybody to come by our studios and pick one of these off the Christmas tree and talk to our receptionist, Tanya, because each one of these tags represents either a child or a senior in need of an angel so that they can have a Christmas. So stop on by. We are at 10th and Lemon, and there are still tags which means there's still people who need a Christmas. And girls, I picked this one for us, okay? Mm -hmm. So we're going to do this for our Suncoast View family. Eduardo is 12 years old, and he needs clothes, and we have his sizes, but he wishes for shoes and a scooter. How many Aww. boys wish for shoes? Exactly. Aww. So I think we can make a difference for Eduardo, and I know you can make a difference in the lives of kids and seniors, too. And Linda, I understand that you and your family have done this once already this season for your We angel. have. We had two. One for the three-year-old girl and one for the six-year-old boy. You know, every time I bought one of these gifts, that's me turning it in, my daughter and I, at uh, First Methodist Church. And you, everything you buy, you see that child's face on Christmas morning. Mm -hmm. You see the joy that child's going to go through. And I was checking out at Target one time, and I said to my daughter, these kids are not going to care anything about it. And the lady at the counter that was helping us said, yes, they will. I was an angel child, and it meant everything oh to me. Gosh. And she started to cry, and She's we started chill. to cry. Oh, <laughs> that is yeah, so no, sweet. It definitely it really does, does mean something. It means a lot. It makes a difference. And, Linda, you're absolutely right. For a 12-year-old boy to want shoes just right. shows us that there are definitely people out there it's who need really, angels. It's really uh -huh. sad because this time of year everyone is all about Christmas but to mm -hmm. be one of those families that you know you can't even afford a tree mm -hmm. much uh -huh. less gifts for the, Our the shoes. Kid, you know it, yeah. it's, it's yeah. tough. Uh -huh. It does. So stop by get the angel tree gifts uh, and bring them back to our station by Monday December 12th. So you need to get the tag now do the shopping the rest of the week and have them back here on Monday. So girls we'll talk about who's doing what and get it all, all right. done That's over great. the weekend. It is time for our first hot time. Topic, and Bayfront battles continue. The city of Sarasota is not ready to decide what to do with the former G Wiz Museum. So this building has sat vacant for three years. The city estimates it would cost around $300,000 to repair plumbing and air conditioning. But it costs about $150,000 to tear it down. Well, right now it's costing taxpayers $43,000 a year to maintain the empty Building. Now, in better news, developers of the former Quay property will begin designing and permitting for that complex, and we may see some movement on the site at the beginning of the year. 
all that money to have it sit there oh, in terms of gee whiz is making me crazy. And prime but property. Real estate, yes. I mean, gorgeous views. You know, beautiful property. That's really a shame. I'd really hate to is. see a condo go there, though. Then we'd never see that view again. I mean, well, I hope they incorporate it into the Sarasota Bayfront 2020 plan, which is really to, you know, make that area more activated and connected mm -hmm. and preserved forever mm -hmm. for people to use as yes. parks and open space and things like that. I, oh, I, I do too. I mean, but the thing is, there have been so many different options that there they could have done. The thing is, just sitting there doing nothing. Right. We're sitting there with our hands, you know. On, we're sitting on right, our hands right. pretty much. And Are not we frozen doing... with fear? Do you and think I, that's it? I don't know what it is because, you know, I'm not a, one of the commissioners, but I just worry. I know that there's this whole idea of you want to do the right thing. Right. But when do you say enough is enough? Right. You know. It's almost analysis paralysis. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, I think uh -huh. they are a little frozen in fear because people are so vocal about what they want to see there. And I don't think any of the commissioners want to stick their neck out yeah. and make that, you know, motion to move forward. And really, that's what right. we don't want to be stagnant. No, but that's what we elect them to do, to that's make the right. tough decisions. Yeah. That's so, right. So, you know, it's not a matter but, of but then sitting there. Bad things can happen, like the view got too close to the street somehow. And you can't change those things once they happen. So we do have to be careful. But to you do have to right. I mean, move I forward. Get you that. can't, you know, if you don't change, if you're not changing, you're dying. If you're not growing, you're right. dying. So and you you're paying to, for it. Right. Yeah. So, I mean, let's stop dying and move forward with something that everyone can agree on. Mm -hmm. Most and people can agree on. And the view didn't get this much even consideration. Right. That's true. So that's the funny part about it. That, that almost exactly flew right. under the radar without anyone noticing and then all of a sudden there was this huge building on the corner. Yeah. You yeah. know, but this, there's just a lot of consideration. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the talk continues. I think most of us are ready to see some yeah. action. Yeah. We just wanted something for everybody. Yeah. Yep. Enjoy. Absolutely. Well, a grocery store with no checkout lines. It sounds like a dream, but Amazon is making it a reality. The dot-com giant unveiled a new brick and mortar store where it sells grocery essentials and also pre-made meals. So here's how it works. Customers check in at the entrance of the store using the Amazon Go app. Shoppers can then grab whatever they need and then leave when they're done. It eliminates the bottleneck at the registers. Amazon says they track your purchases by computer vision and also advanced sensor technology on the shelves. You take it out, the sensor records it. If you put it back, the sensor takes it back off your account. The first store is in Seattle at Amazon headquarters. Right now it's employees only, but it will open to the public after the first of the year. Would you do this? I'm a little nervous about That's that. That's so scary. It's like magic. I just Ooh. watched the Matrix It's like shoplifting. It kind of <laughs> walking and you feel, I would feel like awkward because I'd feel like I'm shoplifting. It's, it's like the mini bar. It, right, right, it reminds me of the mini bar. Yeah, Did you really <laughs> pick up the $7 M&M's? Like you scream at your kids, don't touch the Pringles. <laughs> <laughs> So I need uh, concept, but I, mean, I like the idea of no lines. I'm just worried the... that I'll be overcharged for something that I picked up or didn't pick up. Well, I they're talking about it next. It eliminates jobs, I would think. I would That's think so. Know. I would think so. They're talking about it next more from like the New York City convenience store where you could yeah. walk in, grab the four things like you would at the deli or grab the prepared meal to go without standing in those lines. So, so four things. What about I need like a hundred? Yeah, like my, I my my It's not going to be the replacement of Publix, but, you know, certainly for oh. convenience. That's purposes. what I was hoping. <laughs> not, yet. Not, not yet. yet. Yeah. Not yet. We'll have We're to see. We're trying to avoid the lines in Walmart. We'll have to see where it goes. Well, you're tired of driving around and looking for a parking spot downtown at the beach. Well, you may be jealous of a new parking concept that's now in New York City. It's an on demand personal valet. It's called Drop Car. And it means not circling around for hours looking for that available garage. So a valet will actually meet you at the door, the theater or restaurant or wherever you're going. They take your car and then they bring it back to you when you request it. It is perfect for places that do not have their own valet. And I know we're not New York, but I'll tell you, with all of our parking issues downtown and especially at the beach, if somebody wants to start meet me this at the here, airport, oh please. Are please. you into someone it? Someone meet me at the airport terminal too. This sounds expensive <laughs> to me. I'm sure you're paying a price for the convenience, but I mean it's kind of like Uber with your own car. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, the guy just deals with it. I like the idea because there's so many times you're running late, you don't have time to find parking. Oh. Linda, this weekend when we went to first uh, Friday, yes, or, yes, you know, if, if you're circling around over and over looking for oh, a parking I've walked spot. a mile to get there to first Friday. Uh, music on, music Maine. on Maine. Music on Maine in Lake And Ranch. I've been known to ditch my car in illegal spots when I get myself in that I kind of trouble. To. I mean, when yeah. you're late, when you have to get there, you just stick it somewhere and pray that right. you don't get my a ticket. My worst is I left it literally at the terminal of the airport. 
Like, I remember I that story. Yeah, I just was like, I gotta go. I have to get a flight. I just can't. Was I mean, it there just tow it. When you got back? No, they towed it, but I knew oh. I, it would have been. It, it was cheaper. <laughs> oh, no. It was cheaper How much getting towed. did you pay towed. to get it out of the pound? I don't remember, but it was cheaper getting towed than missing the flight. That's I remember thinking right. like, you, you, you have to make place. tough choices, <laughs> and at that point, and at that point, the best decision was to leave it at the terminal. It was funny. Now, what kind of car was it? It was my car, BMW. Oh, and, it, and at that point, and, and, it, and at that point, I think it was like, um, I think it was a brand new lease. It was a disaster. <laughs> but anyway, it was like I had to make a split decision. It was either miss this flight, and I could not afford the ticket to, you know. So I said, I'm gonna just have to leave it here. Was it a good decision looking back? Yeah, it was. <laughs> I made years ago. I am never traveling with you. You will drive me crazy. You will stress that me out. Would. I would. We'd have a ball, but the stress would do me in. Yeah. See what happens when you get older. You get there two hours early. You park at the way of the end of long-term parking, and you walk to save two dollars. <laughs> yes, well, I've seen you dive into SRQ pretty late from here. So these two, I don't know if I'm traveling. Like but if that. we had the service, I could yeah, avoid everything that. Everything would be fine. You know, many parents have a love-hate relationship with the grinning red guy that moves all around the house all holiday season, that elf on a shelf. So kudos to those of you who have an ultra creative elf. Uh, maybe this one, he's hanging out on Mount Rushmore. Yes, that's always good for the uh, elf that can travel. What about the elf that dabs as do all the Barbies <laughs> in the house? Okay. Yep, uh, that guy's a little crazy. Okay. And then there's the one that got a little religious. He became Joseph in the nativity scene there, oh. making his presence a little less easy to spot and I think you'd have to explain Mona Lisa's elf on a shelf <laughs> but anyway anybody that's elf is that good I'm impressed with Candace does the elf visit your house he does and yes. he comes back every time we put the tree up it's like a beacon to the North Pole to call him down and the problem is going to friends houses and if a friend I'm not gonna call anybody out on TV but if a friend has an extra mischievous or adventurous elf oh. it like raises the ante for yes, your elf. because elves so, elf friends talk oh they talk yeah oh, they talk yes and so, so our then elf, you get home and your elf is outrageous yes outrageous and I mean, you, we've had zip lines Oh we've my had gosh. snow angels. We've had our elf in, in vases all, you know, hiding throughout the house. So it's, it's awesome. <laughs> Elves are awesome. And you know what else causes a problem? I learned the hard way that when your youngest bonus boy, as I call my stepson, has an elf at his mom's house, and he wanted to know why there was no elf at dad and my house. Oh. And I had to explain that's because my son was so bad the elf doesn't come to oh, our house. Oh. The elf is scared. He so, must have touched the elf. He must have done something. And, but yes, yes, so that's why there's no elf well, at our house. At me like, we may find that you elf guys are in a insane. commode somewhere. You may. <laughs> you may. So, Lindy, you just wait until the elf decides to stop by your house. Oh. <laughs> All right. Well, a recent flight to Orlando had an unexpected passenger check in mid-flight. A woman gave birth on this flight from Philadelphia to Orlando when two doctors and a nurse went to the front of the plane because word that a woman was in labor. Oh, she certainly was. The baby came. The woman and baby had to be quickly escorted off the plane once it landed and are reportedly doing fine. There's you'll no notice anesthesia. You'll notice that there was there was no epidural, <laughs> Beth. Oh. There was no warming blankets. There was probably no baby bath. And there were a lot of other things that probably you're didn't not happen. You're supposed I'm, to fly if you're too close. That I did wonder right. about. But and I did wonder how early she may have been, because right. you're right. You were actually uh -huh. usually against doctor's orders to go on a flight after right. about thirty four weeks, I remember and maybe. I would still like it either, either I I'm sure. This is the reason. Yes. That, especially if the baby's in distress or something. So right. we have not heard if there was anything but plane. a happy ending. But yeah, that oh, a little bit God. of a surprise Can on you that imagine? flight. <laughs> Hearing the person like scream for the labor <laughs> baby. Yeah. And then is that you're what in, you're worried and, about? Yes, that's what I'm worried about. And you're in like the road that's directly next to her. Oh, oh my, my graciousness. Can you imagine that? Mother Nature calls. <laughs> I see. <laughs> baby says, What when what state is he born in? Or That's what question? What, what do you put on the birth certificate when you're 30,000 feet up? Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know either. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All the questions we have, we're going to get some weather answers in our happy hour forecast. And when we come back, some important questions you may have on how to deal with pet attacks. Stay with us. Good afternoon. I'm Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan with your happy hour forecast and lots of rain around today. Some areas getting nearly two inches. 
while others not as much. But this cold front is now slicing through our area, uh, bringing with it some moderate to heavy rainfall at times. Again, the front uh, continues to push off to the southeast. And you can see there's another band of rain uh, over parts of uh, Tampa and stretching off to northeast Hillsborough. That's the actual cold front out ahead of it there. We've had this um, big line right there, but generally the cold front ex extends here and uh, will eventually push off to the south in time now. Currently, the heavy rainfall is over for the most part in Manatee and Sarasota County, still continuing into Highlands County, well inland, uh, but we can expect a brief shower this evening. You can see some of that rain developing just west of Anna Maria. Uh, that is pushing in a general southeasterly direction. That's the real front, if you will, and rainfall amounts were impressive. In fact, in Manatee County, some areas getting, as I mentioned, estimates up to two inches uh, just there along US 301. More on the forecast, let you know about another cold front coming up at five. There's a new breed of insurance that pet owners need to know about. It's called dog liability insurance. 600 Floridians are hospitalized every year due to dog bites, and both animal owners and the victims need to know their rights. And here to help us understand more is attorney Jamie Rosenberg from Joe Dat Law Group. Oh, Jamie, did I need you. I came home from work one day in Atlanta. There was a guy on a bicycle there, and he said, your dog bit me. And I said, the law said says my dog has one free bite. And he said, lady, I'm the district attorney. I know what the law says. I've Where never, did you hear that? I've never heard that. <laughs> no? That must be the law in Atlanta. I think. <laughs> the district attorney had never heard of it either. So. That's, That's interesting. Hilarious. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's a new one. I didn't think you'd know the difference. <laughs> you should have said he did bite you. You imagined it. I, I would have thought of that next. Did, okay. did your dog really bite him? He did. He did. <gasps> Was he bleeding? He was bleeding. So, well, so was what he trying to break into your house? Or, I, was, I, mean, I was done. Okay. This guy knew all the laws. But what does the law say? This is what a are our liabilities? <laughs> I can't speak for Atlanta or Georgia. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> I only have dogs in Florida now. Okay, okay. Tell us what Florida law says. Uh, you got to make sure if your dog injures somebody, I mean, and hopefully that doesn't happen, but you have to make sure that you're covered through your homeowner's insurance mm -hmm. policy. Um, oh, and if okay. you're not sure, contact your carrier and see if you do. Well, what if a dog bites you? If a dog bites me, it's the same. I can go after the homeowner. Uh -huh. um, typically, if that person carries, in, or if their homeowner's coverage has dog bite coverage, uh -huh. okay. or if their policy has the coverage, then I can go after the homeowner's insurance carrier. I'm still going after the person who owns the dog, but their insurance company protects them from any sort of damages. But so you're going after them to pay your medical bills, or I mean, everything. What's your, the... your medical okay. bills, your pain and suffering, okay. any wow. uh, out-of-pocket losses you might have, which would include. Uh, lost wages, prescriptions, everything. Oh, Does wow. that matter if the dog, let's say, got out and it, uh, injury didn't occur on the property? That's actually a really good question. Um, it doesn't matter. It, the thing, if you have coverage for dog bites in your homeowner's policy, the actual dog bite does not actually have to occur at your home. It can, okay. can occur anywhere. It could be at a dog park. It could be in a parking lot. So, I mean, that's important to know as well. Could be at work. Do you have a Could be at work. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully not. The guy but. dog is covered. Thank you for asking. <laughs> so what happens to the dog? If the dog has bitten somebody, does, does it get penalized? The dog gets quarantined typically uh, by animal control. And if, if the dog has prior experiences that are known mm -hmm. of biting other people, um, the dog can be put down. And what if the uh, human deserved it? Humans That's a don't slippery deserve slope. Well, what if someone's breaking in, <laughs> yeah. or if okay. someone's attacking, you know, a child, or going, you know, there are some situations yeah. where a dog can. That's sense a, that's that. a good question too. Um, there has to be lie, there has to be negligence on the dog owner in some way. Gotcha. So if somebody's breaking into your house and your dog bites that person, typically you're not going to be held responsible because you weren't negligent. Okay. But if you're out taking your dog on a walk and you take the leash off and he yeah. bites somebody, that's yeah. different. Gotcha. Obviously. Oh, no. Yeah, we've had in Sun Circle Park, we've had one dog that has attacked other dogs and killed one. But the dog's still around. Isn't there a law against that? Ooh, yeah, you got you have surprising. to report it to animal control. I mean I see. when dog bite when dogs bite other dogs, that's an issue as well. And uh -huh. that's something that they can be quarantined for. Now what if my wow. homeowner's policy does not cover dog bites? What do I do? There is a secondary market for dog uh, dog bite liability coverages. Okay. So you can get dog insurance You separate. can get dog insurance separately. Um, it, it's interesting because most homeowners insurance carriers nowadays will not cover dog bites. Oh. They mostly oh, wow. all uh, carry what are called uh, animal bite or animal injury exclusions. So it's like a rider oh, that really? adds on or something? Yeah, so what you need to do is you, exactly, you need to contact your carrier and see if they'll allow you to add on okay. the uh, 
the dog bite coverage. And if they won't allow you, then you check the secondary market. So you mentioned earlier homeowners. What about renters? What about people that you know, don't own a home, but they have animals. Well, there's renter's insurance, obviously, and, you know, they'll carry the same coverage as typically as a homeowner's insurance. Okay. Um, it's going to be more expensive, though, to, for the, uh, the dog bite coverages. When do I need an attorney? You need an attorney, well, if you have the coverage and your dog injures somebody, God forbid, your insurance company will protect you. They'll, mm -hmm. they'll hire someone to represent you oh, if you're sued. Okay. If you do not have the coverage, then, obviously, it, Everything's a little bit different at that point. Mm -hmm. You can be sued. Um, you're personally responsible for that person's damages. You can you go to court. If a court finds you responsible, they enter a judgment. You wow. either you pay it or you don't. If you, obviously, you can lose everything you have if you don't have the cover. And oh, possibly the dog, too, right? And the dog. Wow. And the dog. Your house, your car, and your dog. Oh, my Great. goodness. Thank you so much. I'm so glad to know the real rules now. <laughs> JoeDatLawGroup.com for more information. And next, we're going to hear the jazzy sounds of the Sun Coast. Deck. What's up? I want to point out three tips for using the home computer more safely. Point away. First, stop. Make sure your software is up to date and that you've password protected your computer's login and Wi-Fi connection. Next, think before visiting a site, opening attachments, or clicking on links. Then connect, knowing you're helping make the web safer for you and for everyone. Make Stop, Think, Connect part of your daily online routine. Whee! <laughs> Don't miss the 19th annual Thunder by the Bay Motorcycle Festival, January 5th through the 8th, to benefit Suncoast Charities for Children. This year's festival welcomes special guest Blue Oyster Cult to the premier sports campus at Lakewood Ranch on January 8th at 4 p.m. Admission is free. Festival events include a sporting clay tournament, kickoff party, welcome Thunder event, cruise for cash, charity motorcycle ride, and a two-day rockin' and ridin' at the ranch festival featuring vendors, live music, a taste of Thunder area, and more. VIP tickets are available. For tickets and info, visit thunderbythebay.org. If you have a suspicion for harboring prostate cancer, we have a way of diagnosing by using an exquisite instrument called three-dimensional color flow power Doppler ultrasound. Using this system, we can identify abnormalities within the prostate that you could otherwise never detect. The Detoli Cancer Center is the only center in the southeastern United States which has this technology. If you have prostate cancer, we will find it. An important message for Americans eligible for Medicare. Are you receiving all the benefits available to you? Do you know there is money available to lower your Medicare prescription costs? Now's the time to find the coverage that's right for you at the right price. The way to do that is to explore your options. You can spend hours doing that yourself, or you can call Health Markets and let us do the legwork for you, with no cost or obligation. We'll search a variety of plans from nationally recognized companies to find the coverage that's the best fit for you at a price that fits your budget, and we'll do it at no charge to you. Plus, you may be able to save money on prescriptions. We'll tell you if you qualify. Why pay a penny more than you have to for an insurance policy? Let us find you the right plan at the right price and see if you qualify to lower your prescription costs. Put our free service to work for you at no charge. Call the number on the screen now to make sure you're getting all the benefits you deserve. Don't wait, call now. Some of your favorite songs from popular Christmas shows, like The Grinch and Charlie Brown, will get all jazzed up a bit with the State College of Florida Jazz Orchestra. They will combine music with animation for a real fun show coming up this weekend. And today we get a preview in Sounds of the Sun Coast. Take it away, guys.
Wow, they are awesome. Dr. Pete Carney, Hi, the director of the Jazz Ensemble at State College of Florida. Thank you you got to be much. proud of those guys. Oh, these guys. guys are great. It's been a they pleasure are. to be here. Jeez. Tell me about that program you it's have. It's a great. State college. We've got one of the best jazz programs in the state easily. Um, just great you, great young players. Um, we've uh, I took over this year as my first uh, semester. Took over for Mark Menino who was directing the program and did a great job. And uh, we have a great program. Anybody gets in our jazz program gets a scholarship. Wow. It's, a pretty, it's just a great thing, that, you know, to encourage them to keep playing. All right, so yeah. this is probably an obvious question, but do you have to know how to play prior to joining the program? Um, you, to I get in the jazz band, you could take lessons. You could start out taking lessons, absolutely. Um, as far as being in the jazz band, you would probably have to have some experience playing. But we have kids that have a lot of different types of experience. Some of them play in bands. Some of them come from maybe playing in a church or anything. Okay. Well, yeah. they certainly they are good. They are. They're great. They yeah, are they're great. great. It's a pleasure. And the concert is coming up on Sunday, December 11th. It's the SCF Jazz Concert. And you can go to scf.edu slash music to get more information and to find out how you can get tickets because you do not want to miss this one. Thank you so much. We're going to talk about Christmas trees and how to find a healthy one next. But first, guys, play us to the break. Take it away. If you're trying to balance caring for your mother and being a mother to your children, we can help. It's what we do. Call Granny Nannies today. A helping hand and a gentle heart. Christmas traditions by Lux Art Silks, where more is merrier. Make your holidays sparkle with style. Browse our amazing showroom, cute collectible cottages, and beautiful Christmas displays. Find the inspiration, selection, and quality you need to deck the halls merry and bright. Christmas traditions also features the area's largest selection of quality pre-lit Christmas trees. Every size, shape, and color, and plenty of decorations to make your home shine for the holidays. Christmas traditions by Lux Art Silks, where more is merrier. Visit us on New 301, just a quarter mile north of University Parkway. The kitchen is where life happens. Minnesota Flooring now offers a wide variety of beautiful quality craft-made cabinetry to make sure the heart of your home reflects your style. Visit us today at our new kitchen and bath cabinetry locations. Are you considering joint replacement or revision surgery? Consider this. Dr. Edward Stolarski has performed thousands of successful joint replacement procedures and trained surgeons from all over the world. Using advanced technologies, Dr. Stolarski is able to perform some of the most complex surgeries. I wish I knew about Dr. Stolarski much sooner. After the surgery, I don't have any pain. It's like I've got a 16-year-old hip. My name's Ed Stolarski. What I really do is I give people back their life. Schedule a consultation today. Is your old garage door stuck or broken? Would a new one give you a lift? Let Precision Door Overhead Garage Door Service of Sarasota come to the rescue with prompt and affordable repair service. Replacement doors come with an array of styles and colors, and they are rated to meet and exceed Florida standards. From estimates to installation, your satisfaction is our priority. If you're not 100% satisfied with any product, service, or installation, we will make it right, because Precision Door Service is a name you can trust. You've seen me roll for a hundred G's, but I got a little more than dough riding on this one. They call you Lady Luck, but there is room for doubt. At times you have a very unladylike way of running out. And so the best that I can do is pray. <laughs> Be a lady tonight. My dad is my hero, and I wanted to give him a chance to live life and be happy. Granny Nanny's has been a huge help. It has contributed to the health and happiness of my dad, for sure. A helping hand and a gentle heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Welcome back to Suncoast View. We're going to check in with Chef Bob from Gold Rush Barbecue. And Bob, you have a neat idea you want to share with everybody, and appropriately, it is called Share. Tell us about your plate. Well, today I'm sharing with you some of our famous apple harvest spare ribs and cornbread, yeah. but it gave me the idea of what an excellent idea I ran into a few weeks ago, which is called the Giving Plate. And you can buy them online, ready-made, or they're fun to make at home. Take a permanent marker on any plate that you'd like, and once you've written on it, put it in the oven on 150 degrees for about a half hour. That makes the ink permanent. And like on mine, I just said the Giving Plate. Fill it, share it, pass it. And the idea is that you fill it with something, give it to a friend, and they continue that tradition throughout the year of giving and sharing. That is a great yeah. idea, and we're glad you're sharing ribs. We look forward to that. I hope so. Bobeth? Well, heat and humidity are often part of our holiday season here on the Sun Coast, and it doesn't always help our Christmas tree stay fresh. That's why our Christmas expert is here, Alex Bart from Choice Tropics, to help us come up with ways to keep our Christmas tree throughout the entire season and not have it just die on us. That's right. So, Alex, before we get into the tree tips, Please tell me what is going on, why the trees are so expensive this year. Yeah, trees are expensive. Uh, there's a few different things. One, there's been quite a drought in oh. the Christmas trees' native habitat where they're actually grown. And, you know, you're looking at a 10% average increase Ooh. on trees. There's a number of other environmental factors that have contributed to the increase. Yeah, oh. I, we went looking over the Thanksgiving holiday, and I was just, like, amazed by the prices. Woo. Yeah. Well, I have an artificial tree, so I didn't <laughs> know they've like, gone I'm not up. Worried about I'm it. shocked that they've gone up so high. <laughs> All right, well, when we're looking at trees, what should we be looking for, you know, when you're picking out that tree? Yeah, what you want to look for is a nice, pleasant scent. You want to make sure the needles are retained. So if you actually touch the tree and shake it, the outer needles aren't one. falling off. Well, is it okay if it's losing some of the needles? So the interior needles are okay. If some of those are falling off, it's the exterior needles. If they're falling off, more than likely the tree is dry and it's not going to last long. Mm. So when you say exterior, you mean like on the edges of yep, the Yeah, the exterior limb? needles, so okay. from about four inches out. Oh, gotcha. Yep. And then oh, the okay. interior are the ones closest to the trunk. Gotcha. And yep. so okay. Stephanie was telling us about a story like, you know, when you, you mentioned trying to make sure that tree lasts the entire season. Right. Well, yeah. Stephanie was telling us a tip is Sprite. Does you that put, them in sprite put the tree water? in? Right. Commercial additives are no good except for maybe contributing to the Coke stock. So don't <laughs> use Sprite. Um, Where does don't, that come from? Yeah. That, I mean, I know that's a common rumor. There's a lot of urban myths out there. Here are the facts. Research has shown that plain tap water is the best for tree health. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we love to add things. One year, I accidentally added alcohol. I don't want to go into the whole story. <laughs> Exactly. So don't do that. Just stick with your plain water and your tree so will be fine. So not even sugar or, I mean, I've added organic sugar. There's smart <laughs> people. <laughs> or, yeah, spring water. You can add to have a fresh tree. So. Right. We'll right. believe right. any kind of tree on the internet. Well, I have gone no. through trying to saw the bottom off because they said saw the bottom off because yeah. it's old and then it's fresh tree. There's actually validity to that. So just don't go about an inch to two inches, saw that part off, the tree will take up more water. That's so hard, though. And what if it's not it absorbing is. water then? What do you do then? Okay, so don't freak out if it's not absorbing water. Uh -huh. The key with the tree is if it doesn't feel dry, you're okay. Sometimes oh. initially it's not going to take up water until the actual tree starts to dry out. And do you need to leave the water level pretty high all the time? Because our tree sucks up water constantly. If it sucks up water, yeah, leave it, leave high, it high. But as long as it's above that initial cut, you're fine. And hope oh, that your okay. tree doesn't tip over. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Yes, I've had that problem yeah. before. Yeah. Now let's talk about length, because there's a big discussion in my house about when you should get the tree based on how long you think yeah. it'll last. How long, in general, does a live tree last Trees in your home? Trees will last two months or more. Wow. Really? Those really? keys, keep it away from things like air conditioning, Keep it away from windows that have sunlight. Those are some common mistakes. Don't spray it with hairspray and all this stuff that you hear about. Just keep it in a darker hairspray. place, <laughs> away from direct vents, and you'll be fine. Yeah, the trees will last. If they get water, they will last for a period of time, up to eight weeks. Does wow, the weather wow. have anything to do with it? Like the fact that it's been so hot and humid, yeah. is that good because it's humid or bad Only with hot? the availability of trees. They usually okay. keep them underneath tents, so it's a little bit less humid underneath tents anyway. Once they're staged and 
underneath tents, the weather really doesn't have anything to do with okay. it. Okay. Okay. Wow. So oh, here's another concern, know. and I'm almost yeah. leaning towards Linda with this one because of bugs. You get a live tree, sometimes you worry about having bugs. Yeah. Right. So if you see behind us, there are some spiders in the tree. Oh, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, so bugs wrong. can be a concern. <laughs> All you do is before you get them in the house, you just shake them off a little bit. So I mean, there there is a chance of some bugs being on the tree, but it's nothing to really worry about. So I mean, they don't come like infested. There might just be a ride along. <laughs> it's not. They might be a ride along right. from up north, like a brown recluse or something. Okay. Right? Oh, <laughs> Alex, you're not being nice oh, to us. No. No. I want my years. I've never had bugs on my Christmas tree. Right. I have to say they're generally safe. Yeah. I was worried right. about having the live tree, fresh tree with the dog, but it's been okay so far. Dogs love trees, except they like they, to urinate that's what on I was trees. So, about. So. Right. You'll get some extra so stuff in your Right. Water. You'll get a no, nice no, scent. With that, right. The, uh, yeah. yeah. All right. Well, when you think of trees, sometimes you know you're thinking of the idea of they're cutting them down. So, is having a live tree bad for the environment versus having an artificial right. tree? Actually, it's better for the environment. Oh. They come from an agricultural crop. Not only are they biodegradable, they're recyclable. Um, they really do well. Plastic trees, you have to look at it like this. They're non-biodegradable. You can't really recycle them. They're typically manufactured overseas. Mm -hmm. That They're not really regulated with the plastics and the fillers that they use. So sometimes they're even toxic. Oh, and no. they're not as pretty. And they're oh. not as pretty. Oh, that's oh, that's so good. Right. And it's worth all the vacuuming. It'll be fine. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Mine made a mess. Oh, oh, well, thank you so much, Alex. You're welcome. Now, if you want to get more information or get any of your tree tips, you want to go to troytropics.com. And or just visit one of their local locations because on the Sun Coast. Trees. Yes, they do. And <laughs> next, we'll have Money Matters. Thanks again. Thank you. ABC 7 News at 7, weeknights. At Tidewell Hospice, we know it's never too late to say thank you to our military veterans. The Tidewell Honors Veterans Program has provided care to more than 13,000 military families since 2008. Tidewell volunteers help honor veterans through special pinning ceremonies that demonstrate our appreciation for the freedom our veterans fought to defend. If you know a veteran who can benefit from end-of-life care, call or visit Tidewell.org today. Tidewell Hospice, it's more than you think. From our studios on Florida Sun Coast, this is an ABC7 News Update. Hello, I'm Scott Dennis. Here's what we're working on now for the top of the hour. A prime piece of waterfront property in Sarasota will no longer be vacant. City commissioners giving final approval to a multi-million dollar project for the old Quay property. Plus, new start and stop times for the school calendar years in Sarasota County. The proposed changes the school board may say yes to today. Now let's get a check on our weather with Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan. Bob? It's got some showers, some storms around, something we haven't had for over a month across most of the area. That rain now coming to an end. A, a few showers still lingering. Uh, going to the radar picture and satellite imagery, you can see that front quite clearly making its way through central Florida right now. There's a thin line of showers into Hillsborough and stretching out just off of Anna Maria. That's the actual cold front. There's not much to the cold front in terms of temperature drop, just some drier air and a wind shift change. We'll have more on that coming up today at 5. See you then. The all-new MySunCoast.com. Just another way we're here for you. Outdoor living is one of the greatest perks about living in Florida. So whether this is your style, or this, or maybe this, contact Superior Pools. They've been building pools from Sarasota to Naples since 2001, and they would love to build yours. I owed the IRS $10,000. I owed the IRS $20,000. The IRS garnished my wages. They put a lien on my house. The IRS is the most powerful collection agency in the world. They do not give up until you pay. I couldn't sleep. We were being audited. I called Tax Solutions Now, and a great big weight was lifted off my shoulders. I called Tax Solutions Now, and they got the IRS off my back. Tax Solutions Now had my wage garnishment lifted in 48 hours. Tax Solutions Now can get you help. Our agents know the rules, can stop the pain, and get you the best deal. We saved our home and overcame the most powerful collection agency in the world. We connect you with a team of former IRS agents and tax professionals who get the IRS off your back. Time is running out. Call Tax Solutions Now. Call 1-800-565-7740. That's 1-800-565-7740.
There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice? Choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. And welcome back. With the holiday season in full swing, we can expect an increase in personal spending. And in today's Money Matters, our financial expert and ABC7's business commentator, Richard Stern, is here with the big winners for the holiday season. All right, so Richard, let's start with last year. They say the fourth quarter is the time we see the largest increase in personal spending in sales and retail. So when we will go back to last year, who had like the highest fourth quarter sales? Well, first of all, let's remember that with far and away the most profitable quarter, most, most companies make their whole year by what they in, do in the fourth quarter. Wow. So what I thought I'd do is I'd show you the top five retailers based on last year's fourth quarter uh -huh. and then let you guys put them in order as to who they okay, who okay. they might be. Number one is a company called Amazon.com. You know it's hard as them. Now, <laughs> now this is alphabetical, okay, okay for starters. Okay. There's Amazon if okay. you'd be kind I'll enough to hold Amazon, that up. Number two, I here. think you uh, may be uh, familiar Costco. with Costco. Yes. Yes. I get there most Sundays. They have very good samples, by the way. <laughs> okay, I just gave in on the membership. There you go. <laughs> CVS. Okay. Well, CVS Pharmacy. You're going to be surprised because really? not only is there one pharmacy, there are two. Hmm, so really? CVS, right. if you don't mind right. holding that up. This might look familiar. That's called Walgreens. Yeah. Yeah. So that's number four. You get to hold two okay. of them if you'd be so kind. And the last one is Walmart. Okay. So we put Those these in order? Those are the top five fourth quarter sellers from last year. So you put them in the order of hard. who's the no Walmart. Walmart. Walmart's got to be on top because everybody has one. that. So Walmart, okay. Amazon, next. Amazon, Amazon is two. I would too. think Walgreens. I think Costco I think goes Costco. down. Yeah, because yeah. you have to pay to be a member. Yeah, not everybody's yeah. a so member. So I would say Walgreens. CVS and then Costco? I think Walgreens before CVS. You do? I, I do might, I might flip them, but Walgreens is Dwayne Reed too, isn't it? Because Walgreens is regional. Oh, right, which one so is Dwayne Reed? That's Dwayne Reed's the one in New York. Okay. All right. Walgreens is out of Canada, so they own a Costco. I feel good about this. I feel good about this. I think we've got it. All right, let's leave it where we are. You think you've got it, but I don't think you've got it. We got it wrong. I think you've got, let's see, what do you have for number one? We got Walmart. I just Walmart. sneaked and cheated and I see correct. the answer. Oh. Okay, we got ah. Walmart. We got Walmart, Walmart is correct. Walmart is clearly number one. It's a very shocked. big surprise to me. Number two is CBS. Yes, I was shocked. If you'd be How so kind to pass be? that along. Because we all spend a lot of money on no, I have to get your prescriptions. No, you number have to get three all your is Amazon.com. Okay, wow, this is amazing. Number four is Walgreens. And, then, oh, and number five oh, well. is Costco. So you wow. didn't do badly, but no. I confess I was shocked. I didn't that know about this. Yes. We're pharmaceuticals, mm -hmm. but it's uh, the so reality. is it that people just want to get their medications um, before the holiday season? Well, I think it's the fact that they have medications in addition to all the regular retail mm. items they have, and they have so many outlets. I believe Walgreens yeah. has something like 13,000 stores. Yeah, wow. so I stop on my way home practically every day. There you go. Not for Sometimes. medication, for everything else. Yeah. All right, well, mm -hmm. you know, Richard, you also have some stats about holiday spending. So right. tell us, you know, what gifts are the ones that are... Uh, well, let me give you two different parts. First is how much people actually spend on their holiday spending. Uh, last I year, the average uh, person spent $882. Wow. That's I'm way over that already. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to guess how much were they expecting the people will spend yeah, this, this year? year? I think more. Confidence think more. is up. I think more. Well, the answer is nine hundred and twenty-nine dollars. Wow. Slightly That's the more. Expectation. Yeah. You're above that as well. Already above that. Ah, She's been up above that. that. Per she likes to shop. <laughs> She's got a lot of grandkids. I do. Yeah. Yeah. That's my problem. Well, speaking of grandkids. <laughs> There is one game that so far is the best selling, I should say, so a toy. So the best selling toy this the year? The best selling toy so far this year and projected to be the best selling toy for oh, the whole I've holiday season. Oh, I've got to have it. Really? What is it? Anybody know? Anyone guess? No. It is called, Hatchimus? it's made by Hasbro and it is called the Pie Face oh. Game. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I've got it. There you go. Oh, that I've got was pretty it. popular last year, too. Well, apparently it's popular again. Linda's already got one. So Don't wait. tell my grandkids. Is it uh, a real pie in the face? Yeah. Well, tell Candace, give your review of I game. can't stand that game. We got it last year, and my kids will tell you I gave it away. But it's just a pain because it gets them just 
It's disgustingly dirty. It's whipped cream. Yeah. You go, you take turns, and then random. It's kind of like Russian roulette. Like you don't know who's gonna get the pie in the face. But you use actual whipped cream. <laughs> you, you need to get the whipped cream. Whipped cream. That's you gotta buy the whipped cream. That's why kids love it. They love it. They love it. Any game, any game with whipped cream's got to be a winner, right? <laughs> exactly. exactly. It's a disaster. All right. Well, thank you so much, Richard. You're welcome. Great ideas. Hey, go get the pie face kit. <laughs> why not? Don't take it to Candace's house. There you go. Good advice. Arrête. Another Suncoast gift idea coming up after the break. We'll be right back. For your plumbing, electrical, or air conditioning, and services is qualified, and service calls are free, and services.com, A-N-D, services.com. Since 1972, Sleep King has provided quality mattresses and accessories at the best discounted prices available. Top brands like Simmons, Sealy, Serta, Beautyrest, iComfort, and more. With available free delivery, free financing, and free setup and removal. For a comfortable night's sleep with same-day delivery, even if we have to carry it on our backs. Trust Sleep King of Sarasota. Buy it today. Sleep on it tonight. They took that stress and that tension when I was particularly feeling very bad <laughs> after that nasty car accident, and it was such a relief to know that I didn't have to bear that burden alone, that I had help. Our goal is to not just get a, a satisfactory settlement on their case. We want them up on their feet, happy again. They've gotten their life back. Batteries Plus bulbs keep stacks of batteries for cars, cell phones, watches, plus light bulbs for lamps, can lights, and appliances right on hand. Did I mention we also repair smartphones? Batteries Plus bulbs. Trust the plus. Visit Batteries Plus bulbs today. Cream by Dr. Anna, known as the facelift in a bottle, is an all-natural anti-aging formula that tightens skin and muscles, making you look younger. It's made in Sarasota with real pearls, Chinese herbs, and no preservatives. Visit our store or at pearlcreambydranna.com. The official salon of ABC7. From Tampa, Fort Myers, even Orlando. They're coming from everywhere for the Sarasota Ford Promise. We promise we're more than a dealership. We're a destination with a movie theater, massage room, aquarium, cafe, and more. We promise to give you top dollar for your trade, even if you don't buy from us. And if you do, we promise you the best deal. Bring us any competitor's ad and we'll beat it by at least $1,000. That's why they're coming from everywhere to Sarasota Ford, where 41 meets 301. SarasotaFord.com. Welcome back. Okay, we have fun gift ideas we're doing every day, and we are a big fan of today's. This is called the Vine Box, and it's really cool. Obviously, these are wines, but they come in a single glass pour. Bobeth, pour, pour one of those out. <laughs> pour one of those out. Pour, pour one, one of those, those out. I want to turn them around, us. too. Yeah, because you can see that, first of all, it's a very thin, just kind of chic bottle open that is a glass of wine. So what you can do is that you can have this sent to you once a month with mm -hmm. different selections when they ask you a profile are you adventurous in your taste are you more traditional in your taste and then they put together an assortment these are different Bordeaux and French wines but I love the fact that you get to try new things you get Super you know cool. the, just and the, the wine to comes to you wines. every month I like it that. comes or right the person to you. you give it to these run them. about 25 to 30 ish a month so different which is pretty good for selecting and sampling yeah. three mm -hmm. different wines like that and just think then you expand your repertoire and you can get yes. yes. more. The so packaging is Become a real cool. wine connoisseur. Yeah, and we do love the packaging. Yeah, very, very really chic. Nice. So this is called Vine Box. You don't have to leave your house to get this one going. We are going to leave the table though and head to the kitchen with Bob and Gold Rush. We're going to make Jezebel sauce. Download ABC7's free all-new news app at your app store today. 
Alex Karras Lincoln's Holiday Sales Event is here. Drive a brand new 2017 Lincoln MKC Sports Utility for $269 per month or a 2017 MKZ for $299 per month. We are proud to introduce the newest addition to the Lincoln lineup, the all-new 2017 Lincoln Continental. We have a great selection and ready for immediate delivery. Alex Karras Lincoln, affordable luxury. Winner of the prestigious 2015 President's Award. Serving Florida's Sun Coast since 1978. We're located two miles north of the Sarasota Bradenton Airport on US 41. From our studios on Florida Suncoast, this is an ABC 7 News Update. Hello, I'm Haley Vilkis. Here's what we're working on for 5 o'clock. Tis the season for holiday shopping. And one mall in the Sun Coast is now under new ownership. What changes could be in store for the DeSoto Square Mall in Bradenton? And now taking a quick look at Sun Coast Traffic Watch. No accidents right now, but US 41 in Sarasota is backed up in both the north and southbound lanes near Bee Ridge Road. Now let's head over to Bob. Thanks, Haley. Right now, some showers and storms still to the east of our area, mainly now into Highlands County. Those are pushing off to the east. There's one or two lone light sprinkles, if you will, still with the actual front itself now making its way through Manatee County. You can see one right off of Anna Maria there. For the most part, the rain is over and uh, don't expect a big drop in temperatures with this front. There's a stronger one on the way, though, that will move through and chill things out a bit. We'll have much more on that cold front and whether it will bring rain as well. Coming up today at 5. See you then. The official Suncoast Storm Team at ABC 7. We're here for you. I knew I could get myself out of this. I just needed some hope and some help. I took the first step to recovery when I made the call. If you're depressed, drinking, and using drugs, you may need help. And the Affordable Care Act guarantees coverage of substance abuse. Call the Addiction Hope and Helpline now for a free assessment. I had problems just getting to sleep, drinking, and using pills every night. I feel like I'm losing control. I'm afraid I'll lose my job or even my family. Are you losing hope? You can recover and get back on track. Call now now for hope and help with proven gentle recovery programs. I never thought that I could be somebody who didn't drink and use drugs. I have something to hold on to for strength. I'm in recovery, getting the help I need. Call the Addiction Hope and Helpline now for a free assessment with someone who cares. Call 1-800-764-8708. That's 1-800-764-8708. Holiday scratch-offs are here, and oh, they make great surprises. Imagine the joy they will bring. With over $126 million in prizes, use them for a wreath or a place card for your feast. Attach them, scratch them, and let the magic happen. Holiday scratch-offs. The Florida Lottery has them. Just imagine. Types of timber, cuts of meat, cooking times, temperatures, rubs, seasonings, sauces. You name it, they know it. That's what makes them who they are, Sonny's Pitmasters, and proud of it. Come get some baby back ribs at Sonny's Barbecue. On their own or paired with favorites like jalapeno cheddar hot links, fold or sliced pork, plus two sides and bread. Sonny's Barbecue, local Pitmasters since 68. Selling your home? Insist on a 3D showcase tour from Gulf Shores Realty. Virtual tours are flat and boring and look more like a slideshow than a tour. A 3D tour from Gulf Shores Realty is like actually walking through the home without the drive. Get instant access to your next home from any device. Multiple views give home buyers a perspective like no other. For a limited time, mention ABC7 and Gulf Shores Realty will provide a complimentary 3D tour with your new listing. Coming up Wednesday at 4 on Suncoast View, we're making our list and checking them twice. Style expert Jackie Rogers has the trendiest gifts to give this holiday season. Plus, we'll celebrate with a few ugly Christmas sweaters thrown in. Chef Judy has the best culinary gifts for your foodie friends. And we'll preview the return of the popular and interactive carols and classics at the Crosley. 
Welcome back, everyone. We're here in the kitchen with Chef Bob from Gold Rush, and the smell of these Jezebel ribs <laughs> is so saucy and spicy. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you enjoy them. You know, holiday parties coming up, and you're asked to bring something. Why stress out? Let's use something really simple. This is a classic sauce that's been around maybe since the early 50s, and I just think it's wonderful. It can be a appetizer. It can be put on a burger or a chicken sandwich, uh, and it's nice and spicy with a little heat to it, of course. And going to help me put it together? We're ready. Yeah. Okay. I you're gonna I've never heard of this. I'm no? eating it. You're going to start <laughs> with some apricot preserves. Just, Just put that right are. in there. Today. Yeah. Okay, let's get it all in there. Yeah. Apric apricot, apricot preserves. preserves. And then we're going to do some uh, oh, good, apple so jelly. Apple jelly. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, these nice warm colors. <laughs> and then we're going to give it some rich texture and sweetness with some pineapple Pine preserve. Pineapple if you have preserve. trouble finding that, you can use a pineapple uh, ice cream topping. And then to give it a little fun, we're going to add some dry mustard, about two tablespoons. That's a lot, isn't it? It is, but this has a lot to it. And <laughs> then some heavy horseradish. That's Whoa. what three, I was thinking. Yeah, about. three I tablespoons. Taste that. Three oh. tablespoons. Jezebel, she's a spicy one, you know. Yes. And then you're going <laughs> to top it off with some black pepper. That is a lot of black can you, pepper. Can you give that some stirs for can us? You, just stir? you want to mix this up really well. And the thing that's so great about this and why it's a great gift item, you can use the jelly jars and maybe decorate it and give it to your friends oh. because oh. it has a long shelf life. It can be in the refrigerator for two to four weeks. The longer it sits, the better. You do want it to sit. After you're going to mix it, we're going to put this in the refrigerator for at least eight hours. That lets all the flavors mix together. You've you done a great ribs, job. Is that ready? Well, it's not going to be on ribs. It's oh, going to, okay. you can put it on anything really, but okay. today we're going to have it as an appetizer. Oh, oh, okay. Being the holiday, one, you can do a simple thing like this, where you just have cream cheese and some crackers. But I thought today for the holiday, we make a little fun platter, and you can take cream cheese and just make three simple cuts. Mm -hmm. And That's then, how you make them oh, yeah. right. Thought. And then there are three little Christmas trees oh, like those that, are little Christmas trees. which we placed here. And then the finished Jezebel sauce, which again has been in the refrigerator for at least eight hours. You can see it has all that beautiful color, rich golden. Color. And you just top it on the cream cheese, or your little Christmas trees that we've made. Neat. Isn't that fun? And now I don't have nice. to sneak and eat it. You don't. The cream cheese really kind of lessens the real heat that's in Jezebel's sauce because oh, it is a spicy good. one with all that horseradish. Jezebel horse was a hot woman. She was. And then as <laughs> you mom, see though, you can do spicy. something simple. Just put it on a dish. You can even mix it up. Some people like to mix it up. Mix the cheese now to finish it. it off, you want to help oh, me decorate the little Christmas oh, tree. Yes, oh, little I stars on top. The presentation. Oh no, I might your stuff. You got it. Cool That's presentation. Really cute. You can really shape cream cheese in anything. That's why I like using it. And yeah. again, the cream cheese gives you that, you know, makes it, miles out the sauce mm -hmm. just a little bit. It's but again, once you've made it, keep it in the refrigerator, put it on top of a burger, make a nice grilled oh, chicken sandwich, put it on top of that. You could have some on top of the, uh, the apple harvest ribs if you want. But uh, what a beautiful, simple appetizer to oh, take to yeah. a party, Delicious. right? And I like it. Yeah. Absolutely Good. love Good. it. Can I hope we you enjoy it. Girls, we'll yeah. do some sharing. Let's not mess up the Christmas some, trees. Uh, yes, oh, oh, look, okay. we do. Oh, look who we, we have here. We need to introduce your friends. They introduce us. Oh, why don't you come right here between Miss Linda. This come is my daughter, Come over here where the food is. Come on. <laughs> she brought two friends with her today. This is Aubrey, Wave Aubrey, and Abby down at the end. And they're going to be our Hello. guest tasters today. Oh, my. So you guys ready to go for it? You ready? They might want to rip. You want to do it? You okay. like spicy food? I'll get it out of here. Here you go. <laughs> no. Just go with it, Aubrey. Very <laughs> And Rob, remember this is a course. You won't want to go you do your own. I bet you Trading can do this. Post, everyone, I want to remind yes. everyone about the Trading Post, a great place to find gift ideas, too, and exactly. unusual gift ideas. Right. How is it? So anything particular that you can think of that Well, all the kids love on? all the fun candy that we offer. We have the nostalgic exactly. candy. And then, of course, rocks, crystals, minerals. I mean, it is gold rush. It is. And our Absolutely. famous bottled sauces and our new so we uh, oh, burn candles. candles. Yeah, that's yeah. a great yeah, idea. Linda, you're always talking about stocking stuffers being the oh. hardest thing. Oh, so yes. Stopping by Gold Rush Trading Post, trading post yeah. a great idea for some creative stocking oh, yeah. stuffers. All right, thank you, Bob and Spicy Jezebel. We will Absolutely. enjoy that sauce. Good gift okay. idea. And I thought I heard that someone down there wanted to dig in those ribs as well. Bob, <laughs> you're always up for it, aren't you? Yes, I am. I'm going to have some ribs when the camera turns off. Oh, yeah, right. Right. Oh, okay. I couldn't get her this time. I tried. <laughs> All right. Thanks, everyone. Candace, thanks for joining us and bringing the girls. Thank, Thank you, girls, you. for being enjoy here. Enjoy the rest of your day. Be sure to take some time and Bye. enjoy the Sun Coast view. Have a great Bye. day. Bye.